want to come before God in prayer. Um, we want to pray for our surrounding churches. Amen. We want to pray for uh, San Bernardino, Riverside, Rialto. We want to pray for the um, churches in LA, San Fernando. Amen. Panorama City. We want to pray for Montebello. Uh, for the New Hope Ministries, for the New Destiny Churches, amen, all the churches through Mexico, South America. Uh, they're doing a revival this week in, uh, in Colombia. And uh, Pastor Nelson is from Rosarito is down there right now. So I want to pray that God will be with him. I talked to him today. He said he got there last night, and uh, he's excited, and God, we're believing in God for big things. So I want to pray for the revival down there. Amen. Uh, we want to pray. Amen. We want to keep uh, Sister Dora in prayer. Amen. Uh, she is the unseen sister. Amen. She's she watches on, uh, online. She's she's a good sister. Amen. We love her to death. And we just want to pray for her, that God will just help her. God will give her a breakthrough. That God will just uh, um, just uh, make ways. Amen. That you know God is the way maker. Amen. We want to pray that God will just make ways uh, that 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 no 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 one can. Can stop, Amen. Just want to pray for God to be be with her. Want to pray for Pilo, Amen. Um, AKA Theo Pilo, Amen. <laughs> want to pray for for Theo Pilo, Amen. Uh, for healing. Want to pray for a miracle of God to be upon him. Want to pray that God will just have His hand upon him, uh, bring a miraculous healing, touch his body, touch his mind, re bring a restoration yeah. and a surrenderance unto God, Amen. Yeah. Amen. This evening, Amen. You can trust in God. Amen. How many here got needs? Amen. You got either something, you know, you got a, something that you need. Amen. Yes. You know, we all got needs. Amen. This evening, you can trust in God. Yes. Let's cry out to God. Let's worship God. Amen. And I'd like to ask, amen, if uh, Brother Jesse can open us in prayer. So let's worship God as our brother yes. opens in prayer. opportunity to be able to gather in your house this evening father god lord father god lord we ask you lord that you meet the needs that were brought before you father god lord father god lord the spoken and spoken father god lord father god lord that your hand be upon the man of god that is going to give us your word father god lord father god lord that your holy spirit be poured upon us father god lord that it be filling the atmosphere here this night father god lord father god lord we continue to thank you for the people that come father god lord father god lord that your reign is upon us father god lord in jesus mighty name we pray amen amen, amen. you take time to greet someone this evening amen. what the heck just get a hand <laughs> Amen. We welcome you this evening. Bienvenidos. Amen. We got some announcements. Tenemos unos anuncios. We want to remind you of our regular services every Sunday morning at 10, every Wednesday at 7. Uh, nos, nuestro servicio que tenemos cada domingo a las 10 de la mañana y el miércoles a las 7. Don't forget to, uh, that, uh, to follow us on Facebook and uh, you can watch any of our services on YouTube. 
eh, estamos en Facebook uh, y también tenemos nuestros servicios en YouTube. Amen. Uh, this Friday is Good Friday. Este viernes es el uh, buen viernes. Viernes Santo. Viernes Santo. Viernes Santo. Anyway, uh, so it's going to be, uh, we're going to have service this Friday at 7. Vamos a tener servicio este viernes a las 7. I want to encourage you to be here. Um, por favor, ve vengan. And we want to uh, take this time to invite family. Um, también invita a la familia. Let them know that, you know, we're going to celebrate Jesus. Diles a, la, a su familia que vamos a celebrar. Celebrar a Jesucristo. This is the time of year that everybody wants to go to church. Ese es el tiempo del año que todos quieren ir a la iglesia. So if you bring them, si los traes, I'll give them Jesus Christ. Yo les voy a dar Jesucristo. So let's bring them on Friday. Vamos a traerlos el viernes. And then on Sunday is Resurrection Sunday. El domingo es, I'm going to say Resurrection. Resurrección. Yeah. Resurrección. Resurrection. Domingo, el domingo, así so, we're going to have service at, at 10 o'clock. want to encourage you to invite someone. Uh, inviten a alguien. And, uh, and on Monday, the 10th. El lunes, el 10 de abril. We're to the 10th to the 14th, we're having our 10, Bible conference in El Centro. El 10 a 14 de abril, vamos a tener nuestra conferencia. So next Wednesday, we're not going to have service here. El miércoles que viene, no vamos a tener servicio aquí porque vamos a estar en el centro. We will be having all the all of the conference services on our Facebook. Vamos a tener uh, en la, los servicios de la conferencia en Facebook. So ustedes pueden ir en Facebook y mirar esos uh, servicios. Uh, tomorrow we have prayer here in the church vamos a tener oración at 7 o'clock if you need God in your life si necesitas a Dios en tu vida, if, you need, if you need something to happen something to change then you need to come to prayer que venir a oración. if you're okay and you don't need nothing si no necesitas nada y estás bien, I need you to come anyways necesito que tú vengas So you can come pray for me. Para que tú puedas a, a venir a orar por, para mí. <laughs> Amen. Uh, a week from Monday, Monday the 17th, we're going to have a men's class here at the church. El 17 vamos a tener un clase para los... Uh, los hombres. Hombres. Un discipulado. Discipulado. With uh, Pastor Fernando Gonzalez from Alcapulco. Con el Pastor Fernando Gonzalez de Alcapulco. So we're going to have a good time uh, uh, on Monday the 7th. Vamos a tener bien, buen tiempo el lunes. And then the, the Wednesday, Wednesday the 19th, in two weeks. Eh, y después el miércoles, uh, 19, el 19. En dos semanas, <laughs> we're going to have Pastor Juan Reyes. Vamos a tener el Pastor Juan Reyes. De, de Michoacán. De Michoacán. So we're going to have a good time. Vamos a tener buen tiempo. And then on May 6, we're going to Mexicali. We're going to go pass out fire, eh, flyers. En May, el 6 de mayo vamos a ir a Mexicali a, a pasar los folletos. Amen. 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 These are the announcements. We're going to lift up an offering. Uh, Let's worship a, God. A <laughs> amen. Tonight, amen. You know what? You give with an open heart. Amen. Esta noche, uh, then... Con su Amen. Uh, remember, we're lifting. We're going to be lift, We're lifting up an offering for Peru. Uh, estamos a, uh, agarrando ofrenda para Peru. For June, when we go in June. Para cuando vamos en junio. We want to. We want to bless the the church. Le queremos dar un bendición a, a esa iglesia. And uh, and uh, don't forget, you know, uh, bring your tithes, no make, give an offering, and support missions. No se olvidan de Angel. su diezmo, de su ofrenda y uh, dinero para misiones. Amen. So let's, uh, let's bow our hearts. If you, got, if you want to pay online, you can pay through Zelle. Uh, pueden pagar por Zelle. Amen. So let's bow, let's bow our heads as we bless the gift from the giver. Vamos a inclinar nuestro cabeza, nuestros cabezas. God, my Father, we pray, God, you bless God this offering, God. You multiply, God. Bless the hands in which you give, God. And I pray, God, that you pour out your spirit upon their lives, God. And pour out a blessing that there will not be room enough to receive, God. We thank you, Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Amen. And what a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. 
The angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. And a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. The angels bow before him, heaven and earth adore him. What a mighty God we serve. So we've been talking about discipleship. Estamos hablando de el discipulado. Last week we talked about Abraham and Lot. La semana pasado hablamos de Abraham y Lot. And how when we make decisions because we think things are going to be better, it, it messes us up. Cuando hacemos decisiones porque creemos que todo va a estar mejor cuando nosotros estamos haciendo nuestra decisión, pero no pasa así. But but we but in, it, as we live for God, we're going to have to make decisions. Pero cuando, uh, cuando estamos viviendo para Dios, tenemos que hacer esas decisiones. See, in order for us to allow God to use our life, para dejar a Dios que nos use nuestra vida, and in order for us to be a disciple of God, para que podemos hacer un discípulo de Dios, we're going to need to get up and move. Necesitamos que levantarnos y movernos. This was the problem Lot had. Este era la problema que tenía Lot. Remember, Abraham and Lot were both moving. Se acuerdan que Abraham y Lot, los dos se estaban moviendo. But, we, but remember, Lot made bad decisions when he was moving. Pero Lot hizo decisiones mal. So, as we live for God, we're going to have to we're going to have to keep ourselves moving. Cuando estamos viviendo para Dios, necesitamos seguir moviéndonos. See, when we see when we see Lot moved and did not stand still. Cuando Lot. What Lot? Uh, cuando miramos a, a Lot que se estaba moviendo. But he didn't stand still. Pero no se quedó quieto. When he moved, everything fell apart. Cuando se movió después, todo ya se, no estaba bien. And there's a reason why. Era una razón. See, when you go to do something, Cuando hacemos algo, and you're going to move in the things of God, y vamos a mover en las cosas de Dios, you can't do it without God. No podemos hacerlo sin Dios. A lot of times we want to get ahead of God. A veces nos queremos adelantar. We, we want to move in. We want to move in place of God. Queremos mover en vez de uh, esperar a Dios. Okay, I want to read Psalms 127:1. Quiero leer Salmos 127:1. El versículo uno. Repeat after me. It's easy. Psalms 127, verse 1. 127.1. Okay, the Bible says, unless the, the Lord builds the house. Get it. That is not the same. You're on Genesis. No, no, no. Psalms 127. That's about. Okay. Yeah. Si Jehová no edificara la casa. The builders labor in vain. En vano trabajarán los que la edifican. Unless the Lord watches over the city. Si Jehová no guarda. Guardará, guardaré la ciudad. The, the guards stand, the guards stand watch in vain. En vano de la la guardaría. Got to figure out the question we're interested in. See, so we need to keep, we need to keep a close to God. Uh, nos necesitamos a seguir o uh, quedarnos cerca a Dios. We need to be we, we, we need to be right next to God. Necesitamos estar bien a un lado de Dios. Wherever 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 we want to go, donde nosotros queremos ir, we need to make sure God's with us. Necesitamos a uh, tener Dios cerca de nosotros. We're, right here it says, unless the Lord builds, we labor in vain. Aquí en la escritura dice, uh, si Dios lo está, I don't know how to say that, build, build, build. What this means is simple. Lo que quiere decir esto es bien simple. It's, it, this is very simple. Es simple. 
There's going to be things in your life that need to be built. Hay unas cosas que uh, en tu vida que necesitan mos construir. Things that need to happen in your life. Cosas uh, que necesitan pasar. God's going to do things in your life. Hay cosas que Dios va a hacer en tu vida. So you, you can't go to church and remain the same person. No puedes ir a la iglesia y permanecer lo mismo. If you go to church and you remain the same. Si vas a la iglesia y sigues ser el mismo. All you're doing is wasting your time. Lo, lo que estás haciendo es uh, no, uh, gastando el tiempo. Why, why go to church if you're not going to change? ¿Por qué vas a ir a la iglesia si no vas a cambiar? Amen. Amen. Doesn't that make sense? If you go to church, something has to change. Si vas a la iglesia, algo sí tiene que cambiar. You 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 there, you gotta be you gotta become different. Tienes que ser diferente. It's the will of God. It's the plan of God for our life. Es el plan de Dios. So the Bible says, unless God goes with us, si Dios no va con nosotros, we can't do anything. No podemos hacer nada. In order for you to 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 accomplish anything in life, para que nosotros podemos hacer algo en, en vida. As a man or a woman of God. Una mujer o hombre de Dios. Or a disciple of God. O, o un discípulo de Dios. You need, to, you need God to go, go with you. Necesitas que Dios vaya con usted. It's important. Es importante. Okay, so in Genesis chapter 12, we're going to read Genesis chapter 12 beginning with verse 1. Okay, in Genesis el, uh, capítulo 12, versículo 1. And we're going we're gonna, to, I'm going to break this in a couple pieces. Lo voy a, a leer en do, unos pedazos. Pues, partes, pues. Okay, Genesis 12, 1. I'm going to read it in English. If you got your, if you got the Spanish Bible, follow along. Si tienes la Biblia en español, lee. Okay. Lo a, él lo va a leer en inglés. Okay, Genesis 12, 1 to 3. <laughs> Now the Lord had said to Abram, get out of your country from your family and from your father's house to the land that I will show you. I will make you a great nation. I will bless you and make your name great and you shall be a blessing. Now verse three, it says this, I will bless those who bless you and I will curse him who curses you. And in you, all, all the families of the earth shall be blessed. Amen. Abraham traveled the road where he didn't know where he was going to go. Abraham fue en el camino donde él no sabía dónde iba a ir. He went on the road of faith. Él fue en camino de fe. But his faith gave him prosperity. Y fe le dio prosperidad. Abraham knew if he was going to survive, he was he was he was only going it was only going to be because God went before him. Abraham sabía si él lo iba a vivir, él lo iba a hacer con Dios. But his nephew Lot chose the road with an outward reward, pero, things that look good. Pero uh, su sobrino Lot, él escogió el un modo diferente. He went to the place that looked beautiful. Él se fue a un lugar que se miraba bien bonito. He did not take time to wait for God to show him the way. No quería esperar a Dios que le enseñara el camino. But I want to look at something more important here. Uh, quiero mirar a algo más importante. Not more important than God, but important to the story. No más importante que Dios, pero a la historia. Because we're talking about discipleship. Estamos hablando del discipulado. See, discipleship means that there's going to be an order. Hablar de discipulado es porque hay orden. You see, Lot didn't just not listen to God. No, no, no más no estaba escuchando a Dios. See, we don't always listen to God. Nosotros no estamos escuchando a Dios o esperando que Dios nos hable. I say this all the time. Everybody... We lie to God. We lie to God. Yo digo esto todo el tiempo. Nosotros todo el tiempo estamos mintiendo a Dios. We lie to God all the time. Todo el tiempo estamos echando mentiras. God, if you help me, I'll do this for you. Dios, si tú me ayudas, yo voy a hacer esto para ti. We lie. Es una mentira. Right? ¿Verdad? God, if I get if I get a, if I get a good job, si agarro un trabajo bueno, and I and I make good money, y voy a hacer buen dinero. 
I'll be, I'll be faithful to you. Voy a ser fiel a, a ti. We lie. Es una mentira. So I know we, we, we lie to God. Nosotros sí mentimos a Dios. So for me, it's not hard to believe that Lot wasn't going to listen to God. Para mí, no era algo difícil de saber que Lot iba a mentirle a Dios. But here's the problem. Pero este es la problema. The, one of the problems with Lot wasn't that he didn't listen to God. Una, uno de los problemas con Lot no era porque él no estaba escuchándole a Dios. But he also didn't listen to his leader. Pero también no, no estaba escuchando a, a, su, a su líder. You see, Abraham was his leader. Abraham era su líder. That was, Abraham was the person who showed Lot how to live for God. Abraham era la persona que le enseñó a Lot cómo vivir para Dios. Every day, Lot would talk to his uncle Abraham. Todos los días, Lot estaba hablando con su tío Abraham. And Abraham would give him advice. Y Abraham le daba uh, uh, consejos. Huh? Consejos. And he would and he would tell him about God. Y le decía de Dios. He would teach him about God. Le enseñaba de Dios. This happened all the time. Eso es lo que pasa todo el tiempo. He it was like he went to church every day. Le, fue a la iglesia todos los días. But when it came time to make a decision, pero cuando llegó ese momento para hacer un decisión, he didn't listen to his leader. No quería escuchar a su líder. And to be a disciple, hacer un discípulo, you got to listen to your leaders. Tienen que que tienen que escucharle a su uh, líder. And it, we live in a time to, we live today right now. Vivimos en un tiempo ahorita where people want to be able to tell their leaders what to do. Que la, las, las personas quieren decirle a, li, a su líder qué tienen que hacer. We do that with God. Hacemos esto con Dios. God, bless me. Dios, bendígame. God, do this for me. Dios, haz esto para mí. We do that to God. Eso es lo que hacemos a Dios. But we do that to our leaders, too. Pero también hacemos esto a nuestro líder. You know, I can't do that to my leader. Yo no puedo hacer esto a, a mi líder. For two reasons. Hay dos razones. One reason is I I just can't. I don't feel comfortable. I can't do it. Una razón es porque yo no me siento cómodo hacer eso. And the second reason is simple. Y la segunda razón es he won't let me. Él no me va a dejar. If I try to tell my pastor what to do, he won't he won't listen to me. Y, y si yo le uh, trato de decir a a mi pastor qué hacer, él no me va a dejar hacer esto. Because he's my leader. Porque él es mi líder. A lot of times we lose the opportunity because we have our own ideas. A veces uh, nos perdemos oportunidad porque tenemos nuestros uh, pensamientos de, de cómo hacer cosas. I heard a pastor say this one time. Uh, yo escuché un pastor que dijo esto una vez. That we'll miss God's opportunity. Que nos vamos a perder la oportunidad de Dios. Because of a good opportunity. Por un oportunidad buena. Listen to me. Escúchame. We will miss God's opportunity. Vamos a perder la oportunidad de Dios. See, God has an opportunity for you. Dios tiene una oportunidad para usted. He wants to do something in your life. Él quiere hacer algo en tu vida. He wants to change things for you. Te quiere cambiar algo, unas cosas. He wants to fix things. Él quiere componer unas cosas por ti. But we miss that opportunity. Pero perdemos esta oportunidad. Because there's a good opportunity. Porque hay un oportunidad buena. That looks good. Que se mira bien. That feels good. Que se siente bien. It smells good. Uh, huele bien. And it tastes good. Y también sabe bien. It's a good opportunity. Es una oportunidad buena. But it's not God's opportunity. Pero no es la oportunidad de Dios. And many times we miss God's opportunity because we see something better. Y muchas de estas ve de esos veces uh, perdemos esta oportunidad. Amen. Amen. Any questions? Any input? Eh, uh, tienen preguntas o Again. algo que quieren decir o okay. gritarle al pastor algo. <laughs> hey, I understood that. <laughs> okay. Next, I want to talk about where do we fit in. Ahora quiero hablar de dónde nos queda, podemos quedar o meter, o no, no, quedar, quedarnos. Dónde nos sentemos cómodo, I guess. Recently, recently I preached a sermon that I called, Who are we to God? 
yo prediqué un, um, un sermón que decía quién somos a Dios o para Dios. And the point, the point, the point was this. Este punto era, Since we have accepted the blood of Jesus Christ, que ya aceptamos, uh, la sangre de Dios, is, Cristo, is there evidence that God is living with us? Hay evidencia que Dios está dentro o viviendo adentro de nosotros. So who are we to God? ¿Quién somos nosotros a, a Dios? We know we're somebody who Jesus Christ died for. Sabemos que so, somos alguien que Jesucristo murió But para is, nosotros. But is, is that all we are? ¿Es todo lo que somos nosotros? Are we a servant of God? Somos esclavos o, oh, yeah. Servant? Servant of God. Servidores. Servidores de Dios. Or, or, are we living for God? Estamos viviendo para Dios. When people look at our lives, do they see God? Cuando la gente está, nos están mirando. Or are ellos we, saben que nosotros estábamos viviendo para Dios. Or are we still doing the same thing we've always done? O, to, o todavía estamos haciendo la misma cosa que estábamos haciendo antes. Was the price that Jesus paid for us worth it? Uh, el precio que pagó Jesucristo para nosotros uh, era, tenía valor. Did Jesus get his money's worth? Uh, Jesús haga, uh, ¿cómo se dice? ¿Creen que Jesús agarró su dinero que valió por su vida? See, we're entering into a new season here in this church. Estamos entrando a un tiempo nuevo en esta iglesia. We're, we're, go we're going into a new season. Estamos entrando a, en un, un tiempo nuevo. The last two and a half years. Los dos años y medio pasados. We were, we were in a drought. Or we were in a drought or we were in the desert. Estábamos en el desierto. We, we, we were, there was no food. Había no, no había comida. There was no water. No había agua. And there was no people. O no había gente. We, we were in the desert. Estábamos en el desierto. And, and, and we would come to church. Y estábamos viniendo a la iglesia. There would only be four or five of us. Y había como cuatro o cinco de nosotros aquí. Because we were in the desert. Porque estábamos en el desierto. That was the season. Ese era ese tiempo. That, that, that was the season of the church. Ese era el tiempo de, de la iglesia. But today we're moving into a new season. Pero hoy estamos moviéndonos en, en un nuevo tiempo. And, and, and in this new season, we need to find out where, where, do, we, where do we fit in this, new, in this new area. Y en este tiempo de hoy, estamos, estamos tratando de ver dónde quedamos. The question today is, am I qualified to fit in to the church? Uh, la pregunta hoy es que si estoy calificado estar en la iglesia. See, we are all qualified to accept the blood of Jesus Christ. Somos califica, calificados para aceptar el, la sangre de Jesús. And we're, we're all qualified to inherit the kingdom of heaven. Uh, estamos calificados para... Uh, para la herencia de Dios. But remember, I'm not talking about just being a Christian. Solamente no estoy hablando de hacer un cristiano. I'm talking about being a disciple. Estoy hablando de hacer un discípulo. There's a difference. Hay una diferencia. So you could be a Christian and sit in your chair. Puede ser un cristiano y solamente quedarse en su silla. I accept Jesus Christ. Acepto a Jesucristo. I don't want to do nothing. Ya no quiero hacer nada más. And I ho hope, hopefully, I make it to heaven. Y uh, a ver si puedo entrar en el en el cielo. What I'm talking about is being a disciple. Lo que yo estoy diciendo, hablando es de ser un discípulo. A servant to God. Un servido de Dios. Not just talking about what God has done for us. No nomás lo que hace Dios para nosotros. See, things for us are going to change. Pero cosas va a cambiar para nosotros. When, when, we begin to, when we begin realizing we could do something for God. Cuando empezamos a saber que nosotros podemos hacer algo para Dios. So here's another question. I want you to listen. When I ask you these questions, I want you to think about it. You don't need to give me an answer. No necesitas darme una respuesta. But I want to ask you something. Pero te quiero preguntar algo. I said this in a sermon recently also. Yo dije esto también. Um, en un sermón. 
When was the last time that we asked God, what can we do for him? Cuando era la última vez que le preguntábamos a Dios, ¿qué, ¿qué puedo hacer yo para ti, Dios? When was the last time? Cuando era lo, a la última vez cuando hicimos esto. We spend a lot of time going to church. Uh, pero, pues, así, vamos a la iglesia todo el tiempo. And, and, and we come and we pray. Y venemos a orar. And we, we need to pray. Y necesitamos a orar. The, and this is good. Y esto sí es bueno. But a lot of times when we pray, Pero cuando estamos orando, all we do is say, God, can I have this? Can I have that? Lo que decimos es, Dios, ¿me puedes dar esto? ¿Me God, puedes dar lo God, otro? Give me, God. Give me this. Dame give esto. Me and this is how we pray y eso es como nosotros estamos orando. now we need to pray Necesitamos que orar. the Bible says if we don't ask we don't get it so we need to ask Necesitamos que preguntar. but I'm not talking about that Pero no estoy hablando de esto. what I'm saying is when was the last time we said God what can I do for you what I'm saying is when was the last time we said God what can I do for you lo, ¿Qué es lo que yo puedo hacer para ti? Remember, we're going into a new season in this church. Acuérdense que estamos yendo en un tiempo nuevo en esta iglesia. If the church is going into a new season, si la iglesia se está yendo uh, en un nuevo tiempo, then you're going into a new season. Usted también va a ir Remember? en un tiempo. Remember, we're the body, we're, we are the body of Christ. Acuérdense que somos un cuerp el cuerpo de Dios. So when I say the church is going into a new season, yo digo que, que nos, la iglesia se está yendo en un tiempo nuevo, that means me and you. Eso quiere decir que yo y usted también. Okay. In the book of Acts chapter 6. Uh, en Hechos, el, uh, capítulo 6. Verse 1. Versículo 1. 1 and 2. 1 y 2. <clears throat> It says, in those days when the number of disciples were increasing, the Hellenistic Jews among them complained against the, the Hebraic Jews because their widows were being overlooked in the daily distribution of food. So the twelve gathered all the disciples together and said, it would not be right for us to neglect the ministry of the word of God in order to wait on tables. In order for you to allow God to move in your life. Para que Dios se puede mover en nuestras vidas. In order for you to become a servant of God. Para que Dios uh, puede, o oh, usted puede ser un uh, ser viente de Dios. You need to, you need to, you need to be able to see that there's a need or Nece there's a, a place for you. Necesita saber que hay una necesidad o un lugar para usted. Right here we see that the, the 12 disciples Aquí estamos viendo que los uh, 12 discípulos they were spending all their time reading the word of God. Es, es, uh, están leyendo la, la palabra de Dios. They were ministering the word of God to people. Están uh, Compartiendo la palabra de Dios con, con otras personas. And the, people, and, and the Bible says that people in the, in the church were, were, were being neglected or they, nobody, was ten, nobody was helping them. Y en la Biblia dice que, que la casa de Dios, pues la iglesia, nadie estaba uh, predicando o, o estaba poniendo atención a las personas en la iglesia. See, in order for you to allow God to use your life, para que Dios use su vida. You need, you need to recognize that, that there's, a, there's a need already. Something that, ex, there's a need that exists. Necesitan da, uh, saber que hay una necesidad en la iglesia. See, God, God wants to use you. Dios quiere usarte. God wants to, God wants to help you. Dios te quiere, quiere ayudar. See, there's things about who you are that are important. Hay cosas que que hay bien importante de ti que uh, puede usar Dios. The, you, you are important. Tú eres bien importante. You know that, that in order for the house of God to move forward, para que la casa de Dios se mueva adelante, you're going to be a part of that. 
tú tienes que ser parte de esto. You know the house of God cannot move forward without you. La, la casa no, no puede moverse sin ti. Because you're important. Porque tú eres importante. There's things about who you are that are that are only that are unique to who you who hay, you are. Hay unas cosas que que tú eres o de ti que es tan importante porque that are important to that are just from who you are. Que son importante porque son de ti esas cosas. See, there's things about my life that are different about your life. Hay cosas en mi vida que es tan diferente que es que tu vida. I'll give you an example. Te voy a dar un ejemplo. I grew up in Ontario. Oh, yo crecí en Ontario. Jesse grew up in Ontario. Uh, Jesse, el hermano Jesse, también uh, estaba en Ontario. Martha grew up in Ontario. Uh, yo crecí en Ontario. Madeline grew up in Ontario. Uh, Madeline, la hermana Mama Coco, se creó en <laughs> Ontario. <laughs> But all four of us are different. Pero los cuatro somos diferentes. We grew up on the same streets. Uh, nos creamos en las mismas calles. We know a lot of the same people. Uh, conocemos a la misma gente. But we're all different. Pero somos diferentes. See, your life is different. Uh, tu vida es diferente. The things you've gone through in your life, las, they're las different. Las cosas que has pasado en tu vida son diferentes. They're, 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 they were special for you. Eran especial para ti. God allowed certain things in your life for a reason. Dios dejó estas cosas pasar en su vida por una razón. See, the reason is because he's going to use those reasons to help other people. Esta razón es para que la, lo que pasó en su vida puede ayudarle a alguien más. Have you ever thought when you're by yourself? Yeah. ¿Han pensado cuando uh, estás solo o están solos? Why is my life like this? ¿Por qué mi vida está así? Why did I have to go through this? ¿Por qué me tenía que pasar esto? This isn't fair. Esto no, no está bien. Have you ever felt that way? Uh, ¿se han sentido así? Have you ever been alone and you began to cry? Is there things that hurt you in your life? And you, hay cosas que te han dolido en tu vida? That other people don't even know about? Things that make you think, that you think about all the time? Uh, Cosas que te hace pensar todo el tiempo. Things that, things that you don't understand. Hay est estas cosas, esto se te hace que no puedes comprender por qué están pasando estas cosas. Things that if someone else would have went through this, they would have made it. Si alguien más hubiera pasado en esto, lo que te pasó a ti, a lo mejor ellos no iban a estar a hoy este vida. A oh, este día, digo. Have you ever been in a room full of people but still felt like you were alone? Han estado como en un cuarto con mucha gente pero todavía se siente solo. Amen. You guys know what I'm talking about? Saben lo que estoy hablando? God's going to use that. Dios va a usar esto. He's going to use that. Va a usar esto. To help other people. Para ayudar a alguien más. The Bible says that the disciples were busy studying the Word of God. La Biblia dice que los discípulos estaban ocupados estu uh, leyendo o estudiando la Biblia, they were, la palabra de Dios. They were teaching the church. Estaban enseñándole a, a la iglesia. But the Bible says a lot of people started coming to church. Y decía que había mucha gente que empezó a venir a la iglesia. And the people in the church, they, they weren't getting any more help. Y la iglesia, la gente de la iglesia después ya no estaban agarrando ayuda. If only there was someone else who understood their pain. Uh, um, si hubiera o alguien más que entendía lo que estaba pasando en, est en, esta, en la vida de esta persona. Only if there was someone else that understood their pain. Que si no más había alguien más que sabía lo que estaba pasando el dolor en esta vida. And that's what was going on in the church. The season changed for the church. I want to talk about those who were qualified. Those who, who were able to help. Quiero hablar en las personas que estaban calificados o Who were able to help? Oh, es, uh, pueden, pueden ayudar. Okay, Acts chapter, uh, same chapter six. We're going to three and four. 
Hechos el capítulo 6, pero vamos a estar en el versículo 3 y 4. It says, Brothers and sisters, choose seven men from among you who are known to be, be full of the, whole, of the spirit and wisdom. We will turn this responsibility over to them and will give our attention to prayer and the ministry of the word. Here it says, who are known to be full of the Holy Spirit. Aquí dice, de estar lleno del Espíritu Santo. They're looking for people to help. Están buscando a la gente que pueden ayudar. And, and the disciples are saying, let's go find people who can help. Y los disciples, los discípulos están diciendo, vamos a buscar a gente que nos puede ayudar. He wanted people to help. El que, ellos querían que gente ayudara. But he didn't want just anybody. Pero él no quería cualquier persona. He couldn't go go into the street and just bring somebody in. Él no podía ir a la calle nomás a agarrar a alguien y decir ven. Here, come and play drums. Ven, ven y toca la batería. Hey, go play the guitar. A tocar la guitarra. Oh, here's the offering. Go take the offering. Ten, ven a llevar la ofrenda. No, he couldn't just go get somebody off the él street. Él no podía hacer esto. The disciple says we need somebody who who's filled with the Holy Spirit. Uh, la Biblia dice que, de, que los discípulos dijeron, necesitamos a alguien que está lleno del Espíritu Santo. He wanted somebody who had wisdom. Él quería a alguien que tenía sabiduría. Somebody that when you saw them, you knew God was with them. Uh, alguien que cuando lo miraste, tú sabías Dios está con esta persona. See, you can, we can come to church. Podemos venir a la iglesia. And we can sit down in our chairs. Y nos podemos sentar en nuestras sillas. And we think that this is all we have. Y pensamos es, es todo lo que tenemos. And if you're not careful, y si no se cuiden, you begin to think van a empezar a pensar that this is, this is it? Este es todo. Nothing else? Nada más. Why do I come? Estoy the Bible says that we're looking for people that you can see God in. La Biblia dice que estamos buscando a la gente que tiene Dios. So when you come to church, cuando vienen a la iglesia, you gotta you gotta listen to the word of God. Tienen que escuchar a la palabra de Dios. Amen. You gotta begin to put the word of God into your life. Tienen que poner a uh, la palabra de Dios en en tu vida. You got to begin to do the things of God. Tienen que empezar a hacer, a hacer las cosas de Dios. You know those things that I just talked about in your life? Saben de las cosas que hablé de, de tu, que pasaron en tu vida? The things that, that, that make you cry? Las cosas que te hacen llorar? The things that really hurt you inside? Las cosas que te duelen? You know the things that you don't understand why you had to do it? Las cosas que no puedes entender por qué tengo que hacerlo yo o por qué me pasó esto a mí. It's those things. Es eso, esas cosas. It's those things that God's going to use. Son esas cosas que Dios va a usar. The Bible says what the enemy intended for evil. Lo que el enemigo uh, quería hacer por mal. God's going to use for his glory. Uh, Dios va a usar para su gloria. So, yeah. so, think, so think about all the stuff that happened in your life. Piensen en todas las cosas que han pasado en tu vida. All that pain. Todo el dolor. All that hurt. Todo el dolor. <laughs> the, the, the things that, that <laughs> left you confused. Las cosas que te dejaron confundido. Those things. Esas cosas. God says he's going to use those things for his glory. Dios dice que él va a usar esas cosas para su gloria. And the disciples, all they were looking for was somebody filled with the Holy Spirit. Y los discípulos solamente estaban buscando a alguien que estaba lleno del Espíritu Santo. Somebody with a good reputation. Alguien con, con un... Buena reputación. Buena reputación. Because... In order to serve God para servir a Dios, and to help other people, y ayudar a otra gente, we got to allow God to move in our lives tenemos first. Que dejar a Dios que entre en nuestra vida primero. See, God's calling you to discipleship. Dios te está llamando al discipulado. God, God wants to use your life. Dios quiere usar tu vida. 
He wants to use you as a man and a woman of God. Te quiere usar como hombre y mujer de Dios. But he wants to make sure he can see himself Pero in you. Él quiere uh, ver a él en ti. See this this <clears throat> See who you are known to be wait So God we want God wants to be able to see who he is in your life Dios quiere a ver quién es él en tu vida And and if if God's real in your life Si Dios está verdadero en tu vida, people are going to see it. La gente lo va a mirar. But if God's not real in your life, pero si no está en tu vida, God, people are going to see it. También lo van a mirar. Sometimes the only person that doesn't see it, a veces la persona que no mira esto, is ourselves. Somos nosotros mismos. So, in Second Timothy chapter four, verse two. Ah, uh, el segundo Timoteo. Uh, capítulo 4 versículo 2 2 Timothy 4 2 it says this it says preach the word be prepared in season and out of season then it says with great patience and careful in instruction Paul tells Timothy to be prepared in season and out of season. Uh, Pablo le dice a Timoteo que se prepare en tiempo y fuera de tiempo. Okay, so now I'm going to ask you a question. Te, ahora te voy a preguntar algo. But now I want an answer. Y esta vez quiero que me des la respuesta. Paul says be ready in season and out of season. Pablo dice que uh, se estén listos en tiempo y fuera de tiempo. What does this mean? ¿Qué quiere decir esto? That's the question. What does Esa es la pregunta que quiero saber. Are you ready all the time? Repeat that. Uh, que est uh, estén listos todo el tiempo. Right? Be ready all the time. Anyone else? ¿Alguien más? To be prepared for anything. Be prepared for everything. Anything. Que est uh, estén preparados para Otto. cualquier cosa. Right? Anyone else? Okay, so be ready. Be prepared for anything, right? Estén listos, estén preparados. Okay. How do you be ready? That's the next question. Prayer. For, do you think if we pray, we can be ready? ¿Cómo pueden estar listos si el hermano dice en oración? ¿Creen que oración nos puede preparar? Right? If we pray, what else? To be in fellowship with other Christians. Okay. We need to come together as a church. Tenemos que estar juntos. As a church. Como una iglesia. Together. Juntos. Together. Unidos. You know, I don't let nothing stop me from talking to other people. Yo no me dejo que nada me pare de hablar con otras personas. I don't know a lot of Spanish. Yo no sé mucho español. Sabe Jorge. <laughs> but, but me and George, <laughs> we're laughing all day Sunday. Pero Jorge y yo nos estábamos riéndonos todo el día cuando estábamos juntos. Right? I don't let nothing stop me. No dejo a nada que me pare. Coming together. Estar juntos, unidos. When was the last time you invited somebody to your house? Cuando era la última vez que invitaste a alguien tu, a tu casa. No, I'm not talking about your friend. No estoy hablando de tu amigo. The, tu the one that you like to talk to. La persona que te gusta hablar but, con esa persona. But anyone else. Pero alguien más, alguien que no conoces. When was the last time? ¿Cuándo era el último tiempo que hiciste eso? When was the last time, as a sister in God or a brother in Christ, you called up someone else and said, hey, let's go get a cup of coffee? ¿Cuándo era la última vez que um, llamaste a alguien de la iglesia que casi no conoces y nomás le llamaste y dije, y le preguntaste, vamos a ir a, o quieres ir conmigo a tomar un taza de café? 
cuando era la última vez. That doesn't cost us much. Eso no cuesta mucho. It, it doesn't. No, no cuesta mucho. If you can't afford it, tell me. Si no puedes pagar para tener un taza de café, dime. I'll give you the money. Yo te voy a dar el dinero. Because it's important to come together. Porque es importante estar juntos o unidos. So, so, so Paul told Timothy, you got to be ready in season and out of season. Pablo le dijo a Timoteo, tienes que estar listo en la tem en tiempo o la temporada o fuera de temporada. How else can we be ready? ¿Cómo podemos estar más o cómo podemos estar listo? See, this is important that you answer. You guys have Esto to answer es importante this. que ustedes um, me dan una respuesta o algo. See, if I tell you, then you're not going to listen to it. Si yo te digo, tú no más vas, no me vas a escuchar. Vas a estar como, okay. I know, you're not going to listen to it. Yo sé que tú no vas a, no me vas a escuchar. You want to know how I know you're not going to listen to it? Saben como yo sé que no, ustedes no me van a escuchar. Because if you've listened to any of my sermons for the past month, the answers were in them. Porque si has escuchado mis sermones por el, el mes, desde el mes pasado, Ustedes iban a tener esas uh, respuestas. Oh, George, uh, sí, sí. I, I saw George. <laughs> <laughs> is, it, is it availability? Availability. That's a good one. Okay. Availability and what? Accountability. Availability and accountability. Hold on. This is important. This is, is, este es importante. Oh, Muy okay. bien importante. Okay, pero no sabe esta palabra en español. <laughs> okay, es disponibilidad y responsabilidad. Okay. So, in order to be ready in season and out of season. Para que pueden estar listo en en la temporada y fuera de temporada. You need to be available. Tenemos que estar disponible. You can't be ready if you're not available. No, nos podemos estar listos si no estamos disponibles. Because how could you be ready if you're not available? Como podemos estar listos si no nos um, estamos listos. That, that means you're not here. Es, quiere decir que tú no estás aquí. Right? If you're available, you're here. Si estás disponible, uh, vas a estar aquí. So if you're not available, you're si, not here. Y si no estás... No vas a estar aquí. So how can you be ready in season and out of season? ¿Cómo puedes estar listo en la temporada y fuera de la temporada? By being available. Uh, uh, porque puedes estar disponible a las cosas de Dios. All that means is you just need to be here. Lo que quiere decir eso es que tú tienes que estar aquí. That's how you get ready. Eso es como te puedes alistar. In season and out of season. En la temporada y fuera de la temporada. And the other word she said was accountability. Y la otra palabra es, era responsabilidad. How, how can you ever listen to the voice of God? ¿Cómo puedes escuchar a la voz de Dios? If you can't be accountable to someone else. Si no puedes ser responsable a alguien más. How? how can you listen? How can you say you're listening to God, but you won't even listen to the person in front of you? ¿Cómo puedes decir que estás escuchando a Dios y no estás escuchando a la persona enfrente de ti? See, and people will say, why well, I gotta listen to God because, of, well, it's God. Y la gente dice, pues yo tengo que escucharle a Dios porque es Dios. And the reason why people say that. Y la razón que la gente dice eso. Because no one can argue with you. Porque nadie puede discutir contigo. Right? ¿Verdad? Nobody can argue with you. No pueden discutir contigo. I heard it from God. Yo escuché esto de Dios. Can you tell me that I'm lying? ¿Me puedes decir que estoy echando mentiras? But if I say I heard it from her. Pero si yo digo que yo escuché esto de él. Now you can find out if it's true. Ya puedes saber si es cierto. Right? ¿verdad? It's simple. Este es, es simple. How can you be ready if you're not willing to listen? ¿Cómo te puedes, o cómo puedes estar listo si no estás, no estás escuchando? How can you be available if you don't show up? ¿Cómo puedes ser 
disponible para las cosas de Dios si no estás viniendo? See, I can't, I'm not saying this because I need you to be at every service. Yo no te estoy diciendo esto porque yo quiero que estés aquí cada servicio. But you should be. Pero debes de estar aquí cada servicio. But what I'm saying this about is disciple. To be, to be a disciple. Lo que estoy, lo que quiero decir es de ser un discípulo. See, the, the word disciple is a title. La palabra discípulo es un título. It's not a name. No es un nombre. My name is Ben. Mi nombre es Marta. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of Bens. Y hay muchos Bens. And they're just, it's just a name. Y solamente es un nombre. But I am Pastor Ben. Pero yo soy el Pastor Ben. So the word pastor is a title. El, la palabra pastor es un título. It tells you who I am. Quiere decir quién soy yo. It tells you my responsibilities. Es uh, te dice que son mis responsabilidades. And if I do my job right, si hago mi, el trabajo bien, it'll tell you where my heart is. Te dice donde, donde está mi corazón. So when you're a disciple, Cuando tú eres un discípulo, it's a title. Es un título. And that title tells everybody who you are. Y ese título dice lo que, quién eres. You are faithful. Eres fiel. You're available. Eres Disponible, o estás disponible. You're accountable. Estás, uh, tienes responsabilidad. Right? Does that make sense? Sí. Amen. See, God wants to use your life. Dios quiere usar tu vida. He wants, he wants to change things for you. Te quiere cambiar cosas para, quiere cambiar cosas para ti. There's a lot of people who call themselves a disciple. Hay muchas personas que dicen que son discípulos. But, but will never humble themselves to their leader. Pero no, no son humildes a su líder. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to close. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to finish right now. Okay. Voy a terminar ahorita. I'm going I'm to leave with this. Uh, los voy a dejar con esto. The other day I was talking to my pastor. El otro día estaba hablando con mi pastor. And he said something to me. It was probably the biggest compliment he ever said. Me dijo algo y era algo grande. Una gran... Compliment. 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 He needed somebody. Well, so you know, I forget it because you got me all mixed up on words. Okay, let's see. Él dijo que necesitaba a alguien. He needed somebody. What a pastor says. He needed somebody who. With credibility. Con cre uh, credibility. George, get his credibility. Credibility. <laughs> credibility. Hold on. Es un, un Ajá, credibilidad. That's it, credibility. Mi pastor dice, necesito una persona que tiene credibilidad. And he said that he needed me to do it. Y él dijo que necesita, me necesitaba que hiciera esto. He needed a person with credibility. Él necesitaba alguien con credibilidad. Yo soy la interpretaba. To me, that was a major compliment. Para mí era algo que me compliment, compliment. Because I work really hard to be a servant of God. Yo, yo trabajo duro para ser un sirviente para Dios. I work really hard to be a pastor. Uh, trabajo duro para ser un pastor. See, to be a pastor is to be a servant para of God. Para ser un pastor es, es que soy un sirviente de Dios. To be a pastor isn't to be the boss. A ser un pastor no es a ser un patrón. jefe. Patrón. Patrón. I'm not, I'm not the boss. No soy el patrón. She's not the boss either. <laughs> I'm the pastor. Soy un pastor. And I work hard to earn that title. Y trabajo duro para 
uh, para tener ese título. So when my pastor tells me that I have credibility, cuando mi pastor me dice que tengo credibilidad, that that was that was big, that was major. Eso was era grande para mí. Because the disciples said, "Bring all the all the, all the men over here." Uh, eh, los discípulos dijeron, "Tráeme todos los todos los hombres para acá." And they began to look for the ones who had credibility. Empezaron a mirar a los que tenían credibilidad. He says, and he says, "That's I. We can use that one right there." Y dijeron, "Puedo usar a él aquí." We can use that one right there. Y también a él. And we can use that one right there. Y también a él. Because they are living for God. Porque ellos sí están viviendo para Dios. When I look at them, I see God. Cuando miro a ellos, yo miro a Dios. When I look, when I pick my head up, I see their face. Cuando levanto mi mi cabeza, yo miro a, a las caras de ellos. No matter what happened in their life. No le hace lo que ha pasado en las vidas de ellos. All the hurt. Todo el dolor. All the confusion. Todo lo confusión. Yeah. No matter how many times they were crying at night. Um, como cuando estaban llorando en la noche. They're still here. Ellos todavía están aquí. And they said, I can use them. Y ellos le dijeron, yo puedo usar a ellos. See, God wants to use you. Dios te quiere usar. He wants to use your life. Te quiere usar tu vida. He just wants to make sure you're here. Solamente quiere saber que tú vas a estar aquí. There's nothing you can't do with Christ. No hay nada que no puedes hacer con Cristo. God has a plan for you. Dios tiene un plan para ti. I like every body very close in respect to Jesus. Cada cabeza So today you're here. Hoy estás aquí. And and right now, right now you feel something tugging on your heart. Y ahorita sientes algo que te está tocando tu corazón. You're not sure what that is. Y no sabes lo que es. But you know what? Let me tell you today that that is God. Pero hoy eso es Dios. See, God has a plan for you. Dios tiene un plan para ti. He He wants to change things in your life. Quiere cambiar cosas para ti. See, sometimes we don't think nothing needs to change. A veces pensamos que no hay nada que necesita cambiar. But today you know things need to change. Pero hoy tú sabes que 